I am obsessed with all types of camera bags, especially travel bags. And Polar Pro just came out with their very first travel bag, the Boreal 50L. Even though this video is sponsored by Polar Pro, all my thoughts and opinions are completely my own. And so we're gonna go through all the pros, all the cons, and all the details that you should know to decide whether or not this backpack is right for you. I also packed this backpack with a ton of camera gear, and so we'll get to that later in the video, but first, let's talk about specs. Actually, let's talk about the backpack size and comparison. Now, not gonna lie, the Boreal 50 is a big bag, so here it is in the middle compared with two other popular backpacks for your reference. I'm a five foot seven dude, so hopefully this visual reference is helpful. All right, so the backpack is incredibly well-built to survive the toughest environments with YKK zippers all around the bag to ensure the zippers don't get caught or let water seep in. There are several compartments around the bag, like the top key drop pocket to hold your keys or sunglasses, a bigger compartment to hold items like a reflector or a light jacket, and a smaller lower compartment to store items like a passport, SD cards, or even a wallet. Oh, and of course, you have a laptop compartment that can store up to a 16-inch MacBook Pro like you see here. The bag is test loaded to support 65 pounds of camera gear, so you can pack your biggest camera body and lenses in this bag no problem. There is a large roll top compartment which adds an additional 10 liters to pack clothes and other larger items. You can also take out your camera from the top instead of unzipping the camera compartment on the back, which is a feature that I really like. There are two large pockets on each side of the bag to hold a 32 inch water bottle, tripod, or even a small slider with compression straps to keep them in place. On the back is a very comfortable back padding that's thick enough to allow proper airflow to keep your back cool. That's great if you're gonna carry this bag for a long time. The shoulder straps are thick and very comfortable as well and features D-clips to attach a carabiner and other accessories. Down at the bottom are hip straps which help distribute the weight of the bag evenly and zipped pockets on each hip strap to store camera batteries, SD cards, or other small items. The hip straps can also be removed too if you don't want to wear them because some people don't like to wear them. On the top, bottom, and sides of the bag are four quick grab handles which makes it easy to store your bag in your car or the overhead bin in a plane. The Boreal's main camera compartment is 8 inches tall, meaning that you can pack your big lenses face down instead of on its side. The dividers are customizable as well, so you can shape the organization of this bag any way you want. And lastly, there are three mesh pockets to store more accessories in the main camera compartment. So that's a quick tour of the bag, but let me show you the gear that I packed. Uh, let's just start with the laptop compartment. I packed my 14-inch M1 Max MacBook Pro. Whoa! Okay, all right, well maybe we should start with the tripod holder. <laughs> so on the sides are two pockets to either hold a water bottle or a tripod. On the side, I do have my favorite travel tripod. This is the Mi Photo Road Trip Travel Tripod. Really good tripod over there. But uh, right over here in the front is the laptop compartment. And it can fit up to a 16 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, I have the 14 inch and it fits really nice over there. Um, the, the only thing with having a laptop compartment in the front is that uh, I'm not a big fan of the laptop being on the bottom, being crushed by, by the weight of, of the bag and also if, if you're setting your backpack on rocky terrain. I feel like the laptop should always be to where the back is and that way it's really protected. But the laptop compartment is right here, it's very spacious. And what I do in a situation like this is that in the um, in this compartment over here, this is where you house a lot of accessories. Uh, I like putting a reflector because uh, for one, it's just easy to take out if you want to use a reflector quickly, but also it adds an extra layer of protection for your laptop. But yeah, this is a great compartment uh, to house accessories like a reflector, or if you wanna put a light jacket in here, have easy access to, like this is a, a great compartment for that. And whoosh, wow. I've got a full on production house in this bag. We got cameras, full frame cameras, two full frame cameras. We got a recorder, we got drones, we got audio mics, lavs, shotgun mic, accessory pouch, filters, a 360 camera, all the goods packed into this bag. Okay, hold on, Andy. I don't know if you can see it. Here we go, there it is. There, there's all the gear packed in this bag. That's a, that's a lot of gear. First of all, I just, I love the dividers. These are the best dividers of any camera bag that I've ever used. But these are very sturdy dividers that you can configure in any different way and dividers that actually stay put and protect your gear. And so I love these dividers. Also, you don't have to pack out your backpack entirely with camera gear. Like half of it could be camera gear at the bottom and the other half could be like clothes and stuff like that. In fact, Polar Pro have these uh, packing pods where you can pack gear and maybe uh, one camera body if you want to and just various means of organizing 
using whatever you want to carry on your travels. And so if you don't want to pack this camera bag with a lot of camera gear, like you want to mix in clothes as well, then yeah, these packing pods are great. But anyway, I've got my full frame camera. This is the Sony Alpha 7 IV with the 1635G master lens. I also have another full frame camera, the A7S III, but I'm using it right now. But that goes right over here in this uh, compartment. But you can also have another third camera. This is the Sony ZV-1. Just nice to have a, a small camera, standby and ready. I've also got my favorite mic to travel with. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. This is great. But also if there are moments where I need a, a wireless lav system, then I have my audio case right over here. Let me put this down. And here is where I house my favorite wireless lav set of all time, and it is the DJI mic. So here are the transmitters and the receiver and the charging case. I also have some headphones. I have several lav options and uh, just various cables and other accessories that I would use if I were to use uh, a wireless lav set. And so yeah, so that goes right over there. Also, I've got a 360 camera. This is the Insta360 ONE RS. It's also an action camera because it's a uh, modular, so that stays over there. I also brought my uh, favorite travel light. This is the uh, Aperture MC, nice RGB light. And then uh, down over here, I have my 24 to 70 G Master lens. Just a great lens to have for any situation. And because the main compartment is eight inches tall, I can actually pack this lens this way instead of that way. And so in case you're wondering, hey, can I pack like taller camera bodies and lenses in a vertical way? You totally can. Next to it, I have my drone. This is the DJI Air 2S. I have the remote right over here. Above that is my recorder. Like I can fit an actual recorder on here. And the one that I have is the Atomos Ninja 5 Plus. Such a great monitor to use. And it's pretty awesome that I can fit it in this bag and take it wherever I go. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? I got a couple of accessories. Like I got a rocket blower, lens pen over here. So. Oh, and gaff tape, always gotta have gaff tape. And then down at the bottom, I have uh, my filter pouches. And then next to it, I've got my EDC tech pouch. So all my chargers, charging bricks, cables, all that stuff is in this bag. And then of course, because it's so small and tiny, I've got the, I got another action camera. It's the uh, Insta360 Go. Love this little thing. So that's it for the main compartment. I'm gonna flip it around and show you the mesh pockets. Okay. So here in the mesh pocket, you can store small accessories, flat accessories like a gray card, like I have my gray card up over here. And then uh, you can put cables here if you want to, or SSDs, in fact, oh, there it is. I was, I was looking for this. This is the Samsung T7, two terabyte SSD. It's just good to have to bring with you wherever you travel in case you wanna back up your footage because you gotta back up your footage, you know? And obviously because of the modular design, like you can configure the dividers however you want. If you wanna bring bigger cameras like a, a Komodo or a RED camera or even a gimbal like the Ronin S. But yeah, this backpack is designed for creators that travel. And it's pretty awesome that you can store a bunch of camera gear in this bag. And then some final thoughts uh, with, with the bag. Like overall, I actually really, really love it. I love the way it's designed. I love how rugged and comfortable it is. And that with the hip straps, it didn't feel too heavy when I was wearing it, which is nice because you don't wanna put a lot of stress on your back if you're carrying a lot of camera gear, like you wanna be able to distribute the weight evenly on your body. And I think the Polar Pro Boreal 50L does a great job at it. My only issues with the backpack are very minor, like uh, the, the zippers, like when you're zipping up the, the camera compartment, it's a little bit tough to zip. In fact, here, let, me, let me show you. It's fine over here because it's, it's a bit wider, but it kind of thins down towards the bottom of the bag and it just, yeah, it's just not very easy to zip it up. I mean, again, a minor detail, but something that I definitely noticed. And also the, the balance of the bag, like when you stand it upright, it definitely leans forward. In fact, it, it wants to jump forward. I just prefer backpacks to stand straight up when you set them down. And then the laptop compartment, like even though it's very spacious to fit up to a 16 inch MacBook Pro, I much prefer having the laptop compartment in the back of the bag because, uh, well, it's just, it's safer that way. And then same thing with the small front pocket, like even though you can store things like a passport or your wallet, when you're traveling, you don't want to store those items in the front because it makes it easy for people to steal. Like I'd much rather have a pocket like maybe concealed in the back somewhere, or even a top over here to hide those sensitive items to prevent people from stealing those things. But other than that, I love this backpack. And I think for people that travel a lot and want to carry a bunch of gear, like more than one camera body, like this is the bag to get. And it's nice to know that with this bag, you don't have to fill out the bag with a lot of camera gear. Like you can fill it halfway through and use the packing pods to pack your clothes, your shoes, or whatever, probably make 
making it one of the most versatile travel camera bags for all types of creators. So if you wanna pack this bag with a ton of camera gear, then yeah, you totally can. Or if you don't want to, you wanna pack it halfway through, then the rest with clothes and shoes and whatever, then you totally can as well. But overall, a pretty kick butt travel backpack. Well, that is the Polar Pro Boreal 50L. If you have any questions about this bag, let me know in the comments below. But I gotta go ship this bag back. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta return this thing. And so, uh, so yeah, I will say goodbye to you. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.